The idea is um, you're walking through you know, a park or a forest or even just outside your home and you see a bird um, and you snap a picture of it with a phone or a camera and then uh, you'd like to identify the species. So you take that image and um, you put it on your iPad um, or you took the picture with your iPad and um, you go ahead and you press the identify button and uh, let's say that it was already on your camera roll so you took the, the picture with your iPad uh, you'd go ahead and select it and then we go ahead and use this image uh, and so this is the image that we're going to submit to uh, the server that's running over in our lab uh, the computer vision lab uh, so you would go ahead and tap the identify button and so what the system did is it took the image and it uploaded it to our server um, and then we have some special algorithms that are running that will go ahead and uh, analyze the image and try and identify the species. And so what the system does is it uh, reports back about uh, 50 birds that have a pretty high probability of being uh, the bird species in your image. And um, the system is, is uh, we built it like around an, an interactive idea. So we sort of step back from the idea that uh, the computer would do all the hard work. And, uh, and now what happens is the computer does work, but what it reports back to you isn't one answer. It's several answers. And the user's task is to uh, select the correct answer. And so in this case, uh, what gets reported back uh, are the species here. And we can see that the top species looks really familiar to the bird uh, that's in our image. So we can go ahead and tap on it. And so the app then it goes ahead, it asks, you know, is your bird the painted bunting? So as a human with our eyes, we can go ahead and look at the uh, image that we took. And then we can look at the images that were um, reported back from the server for this particular species. And, um, you know, we can go ahead and compare some of these and we can be like, yeah, you know, like that looks just about right. So this was a fairly easy bird to recognize. Uh, what we can do is we can give the, the system a little bit harder harder of a task. So we can go back to identify. We can say, you know, choose the photo. And this time we'll use this picture. Um, so we can imagine that we are holding a bird and we, we managed to take a, a snapshot of it with our iPad. So um, we can go ahead and try to identify it. And so again, the, the image is taken from the iPad, uploaded to the server, where it's a lot of processing is done on it. And then the results are shipped back to the iPad. And um, so the results are here. And as we can see, uh, there's really no bird species up here that looks similar to the bird species in our image. So this is where the app gets really interactive. Um, and so not only is the user supposed to look and see if the correct species was returned somewhere in these top results, but if the species wasn't returned up here in the top, then, it needs, then the user needs to uh, answer a question. Um, so for example, on this one, it says click on, uh, on the head. So the user can go ahead and tap on the head of the bird in their image. They can click Submit. And so what this is doing is it took that information, it packaged it up, and it sent it back to the server. Now the server is rerunning, and then it reports back new species. And um, with that new information, we can go ahead and look at this number one species, which looks pretty similar. Um, it's the blue-headed Viero. Um, we can go ahead and, and look at a detailed image and we can, it's starting to, that looks about like the correct species. We can look at another image and um, that looks just about right. Computers are smart but they can't do everything, um, you know, by themselves. And so we have this sort of, um, this uh, hand-holding of the computer in order to get it to give us the correct uh, species.